Curly Sue and welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making for you some vegan brownies. Now, I know some people, the minute they hear the word vegan, they think, ah, oh, it's not going to taste good. I promise you, these are going to taste amazing and you will not miss the fact that there's no eggs and no dairy in these brownies. So what do you need to make them? First of all, you need nine ounces of plain flour. So you can use spelt flour if you like, but plain flour is fine. 12 ounces of muscovado sugar or any unrefined cane sugar is fine. Florida crystals, any of that sort is great three ounces of cocoa powder, or you can use cacao powder if you like, 250 mils or half a pint of any plain oil, vegetable oil, um, any oil that doesn't have much of a flavor, and the same amount of water, 250 mils, half a pint of water. Then you need a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla. This is so easy to make. Even if you're not brilliant at baking, you can make this. So all you do is you're going to sift together, first of all, the flour, and you just give it a nice, good sift. This is to get any lumps out, and also it makes sure it puts some air into it so it's light and fluffy and melts in the mouth. And then you put in your cocoa powder, as well, mm, that smells lovely. You can use organic one if you want to be posh or healthier as well. This tends to have lumps in it. So just make sure you get all of those lumps out so it doesn't bake unevenly. See, it's quite quick. Then you're going to add the salt and the baking powder. And you're going to stir all of that together so it's all combined. The reason for stirring it all together to make sure it's all combined is you don't want to have an uneven bake where you've got baking powder on one half of your brownie and none on the other, which wouldn't be fabulous. Mix that all together, add your sugar, like that. And then you're going to give it a good stir to make sure it's all combined really well before you add the wet ingredients. So you noticed I've done the dry ingredients first, so it's really simple all the dry ingredients first and then the wet ingredients. So once you've given it a good stir, it should look something like this. Don't worry if there's still some lumps in it, that's just the sugar. Once you put the wet ingredients in, that will be fine. So then you add the water and your vanilla and your vegetable oil or whichever oil you prefer to use. Give that a really good stir. And it looks like really wonderful melted chocolate and it smells like it as well. A bit of good stir so there's no dry lumpy bits in it. Then all you need to do is put this into a baking dish. This one is especially for brownies that I managed to pick up. And it just needs a light spray of oil or you can grease it with butter, whichever you prefer. So I, use, I like to use spray oil. And then you just put the mixture into the tray. So I usually just pour it in because this is quite a heavy bowl. And then just scrape all of the rest in. And then you're going to put it into a medium oven which is 350 degrees or 180 for 45 minutes to an hour or when you put a skewer in it comes up clean and the top isn't glossy. So I've got one of these that I'll be using once we take it out of the oven. So the brownies have cooled and I've cut them up and put them onto a plate. So all that's left to do now is to taste them. So here goes, mm, they're light and fluffy. Mmm, very chocolatey. Amazing. They don't have any dairy, but you can still have them if you're vegan or if you're allergic to dairy, or if you just want to avoid dairy for a, a while. They still taste amazing. To be honest, I would make these if I were you and try them out on your friends, because I've tried these out on my friends who are not vegan before and they didn't realise until they clocked. Obviously, I've made them myself and they thought, hold on a minute, these must be vegan because you made them. So, excellent brownies even if I say so myself. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to click and subscribe, 
Comment below, what do you like to put in your brownies? Do you like to put chocolate chips or do you have like a really good way that you make your brownie without any dairy? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.